We are less than one month away from the federal government launching the $13 billion Canadian dental care plan, starting with seniors. But some are worried their dentists may not be participating in this program. Federal Health Minister Mark Holland is joining us live now here in studio with the latest updates on the program. Minister, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, we'll start off with um, some questions that participants may have. First off, is this free? If you're eligible for this plan, once it begins in May, are you going to be able to see a dentist completely free of charge? So if you uh, make less than $70,000 in family income, uh, then you have no copay. Now, it's up to <clears throat> a dentist whether or not they, uh, they, they do what they call equal billing. So uh, let's say for scaling, which is the cleaning of your teeth, mm -hmm. uh, we cover uh, about 97% of the fee guide for that. Uh, so there's a gap of about 3%. So the, your, your dentist may ask you for that on equal billing. Uh, and, but most of the procedures, over 50% of them, we pay over 90%. Uh, the, re the remainder are over 80. There's a couple procedures under 80, but it's in that 80 to 90 range. If you're over 70,000, between 70 and 90,000, then there is what we call a copay, uh, where you pay a portion of it. But um, there's a, this is a significant, um, uh, this is a really significant amount that we're putting forward to make sure that people can afford dental care. And there are so many folks out there who don't have coverage right now. It's about 9 million. So we're very excited. 1.8 million seniors have already signed up uh, for the dental program, and we're excited for them to get care. All right, and we have heard, though, from the Canadian Dental Association, other associations representing dentists in Alberta, Quebec, all over the country, with some concerns about this plan. Dentists have to opt into the plan. They have to sign up. But some dentists are saying they just don't have enough information at this point, and they also feel like they're being asked to bill less for those who are eligible. Is that the case? And are you going to be presenting dentists with more info, uh, especially regarding billing, uh, before they sign up? Well, you can imagine I'm meeting dentists every day. Uh, everywhere I go in the country, I'm uh, meeting with dental providers and with hygienists and with denturists uh, because we have, you know, a full suite of things that we need to be doing in oral health. And I can tell you that when I have those conversations, um, uh, you know, I heard a lot of folks who said, look, I, you know, I'm nervous about signing up for something. So we're taking that away. There's, we're going to make it uh, so easy to participate. All you have to do is have somebody walk in, show their card, and a dentist can try it once and see how they like it, see how it works for them. We're making it so that it's as simple as any other insurance plan. The, a member just has to bring in that card. Once they get it in the mail, the dentist's office is going to punch it in, and they're going to be able to, within two days, uh, get, uh, get paid back for anything that doesn't require pre-authorization. So that's over 90% of things. So things that would require pre-authorization, or if you have more complex issues in your mouth uh, and you know you need to do something that's quite a bit more expensive, as long as it's medically necessary, we're there for you. There's no cap. Uh, but of course, that will require pre-authorization. Okay, so is this something new then? Because it, it seemed like in the beginning, dentists were being asked to opt in and sign up. If patients are going to be able to go in and just try it, is that a new development? Yeah, so that's something that we, uh, you know, I'm kind of a bit ahead of myself uh, because we haven't officially launched it. Uh, but I've been saying that, you know, I, I hear, like, we want to work with providers. Uh, you know, we have uh, extraordinary oral health professionals across the country, and this is an exceptional opportunity um, to sort of pull the tarp of health over oral health. You know, if you don't get uh, your mouth taken care of, it can lead to all kinds of chronic disease and illness. So it's a major issue around prevention, not just social justice. So working with providers, we want to make it as easy as possible for them to, to participate and to take away any concerns that they might have. Uh, uh, and, you know, it, because it is a very simple program, it'll work just like any other insurance program. Okay, and you mentioned mentioned dentists being able to try this once. Is it once and then you have to sign up? No, that, no, no, no. It's, it? you, if you want to continue just using the portal without ever uh, uh, sort of agreeing to participate, uh, you can. And then you can just keep doing it once a thousand times. Uh, it, and then if you get comfortable, then you can uh, put yourself on the list of providers if you want. Um, uh, so it's a, it's a simple process. Okay, and will dentists be asked to bill less for participants who are eligible for this? So it's like I explained before. Uh, so if you're a dentist and let's say you come in for a cleaning, uh, we're gonna, remember the fee guides aren't set by us, right? right? The fee guides are set by the uh, by the dentist. They have a separate process. Mm -hmm. So we have to, uh, as uh, you know, respecting taxpayer dollars, look at what it, we can afford as a government. So for example, in cleaning, I mentioned that's about 97% yeah. of fee guide. So there's a, a gap there between what they're, uh, and by the way, these fee guides are guides, they're recommendations. Some charge less, some charge more. And so a dentist is going to see a patient, take a look at their circumstances and make a call. 
But if they're, uh, you know, at 97%, if they wanted to charge 3% for equal billing, then they can do that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to champion it because I want them to take a look at individual circumstances. These are, remember, in many cases, very vulnerable people. We have seniors on very limited incomes who've never had oral health care before going into the dentist's office for the first time. Obviously, they're very excited about that, but they don't, they don't have a ton of money, right? Mm -hmm. And so we want to try to make this as affordable for them as possible. Okay, and, and lastly, we're just wrapping up now, but will this program be up and running by May 1st, and when will uh, it expand to other ages? Yeah, so you can imagine 9 million people, it's a lot of folks. So it takes some time to roll it out to everybody. Uh, we're starting with seniors, uh, so th this is uh, folks 85 and older, then we're sort of moving through the cohorts. Uh, so uh, we're going to see thousands and thousands of people start in May, uh, and then, uh, you know, you're going to get a letter uh, in a package once you sign up. Uh, that'll tell you exactly when your date is and when you'll start. But over the next year and a half, we're going to roll out to the entire population, all 9 million Canadians. Okay, and then those people can go to whatever dentist they want regardless and show that card. All right. Thank you very much, Minister Holland. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Really right. appreciate it. No problem. It is 8.08 here on BT. Time now for a look at the forecast. We're going to send things over to Frank Farragini.